Hello everyone. My name is Dejane Robinson. I'm a second year fiction student here at SIUC, um, better known as Southern Illinois University, Carbondale. And today I'm giving a talk about the random inevitability of AI art. If beauty is in the eye of the beholder, what happens when that beholder is a machine? So today I'm gonna to talk about how black art and black representation is showcased through AI art generators. So let's get into it. Simplicity and success. So this is my favorite AI drawing. I created this using Night Cafe, Stable Diffusion, and I simply prompted the AI to draw a realistic woman creating artificial intelligence, art, colorful. And this is what it gave me. It gave me a colorful woman with different shapes and color, and she's really vibrant. She's abstract, but not too abstract where it is unknown what's going on. Failures. So before I get into my successes with AI art, we have to go through our failures first. My bit. So my primary focus in this program and onward is to change the narrative around me. I want to be the change that I see. So I want to write beautiful black stories and make them intrinsically beautiful and holistic. I, and the same goes for the art that I create. I'm tired of people bashing black folk or bashing other people of color just because. I'm tired of watching movies that do that. I'm tired of reading books that do that. I'm tired of looking at art that doesn't represent me or people who look like me. Failures with Night Cafe. So on the left, I prompted Night Cafe to draw a black fairy with glass wings, beautiful pastel colors. And on the right, I prompted Night Cafe to draw an African-American fairy with glass wings, beautiful pastel colors. So on the left, you can see a fairy with detail. Uh, her wings are detailed, her dress has ruffles, uh, her wings on top have black tips and beautiful lines. Her face is there. I see her, I see all of her features. I see her eyes, her eyebrows, both nostrils of her nose, her lips. And her hands are okay too. AIs have a hard time drawing fingers and eyes. Um, so this is excellent for what it is. On the right, we see a fairy whose features, whose facial features aren't very clear. I can't tell if her eyes are open or closed. Um, her eyebrows aren't that clear. Her mouth is a little distorted. Her nose is cut off. There's no hands, but that's common. Her dress color is pretty. It is pastel, um, but then there aren't many distinct details and lines compared to the fairy on the right. The only difference in this prompt was the fact that I put African American compared to black. On the left, the black prompt prompted me with a white fairy compared to me having to put African American. And by me putting African American, the AI did not give her as many features as the one on the left. The default was your centric features. And those features are clearly drawn out compared to the Afrocentric features. Her hair texture is pretty spot on. We have kinky hair, but her face is not as intricately drawn as the one on the left. And honestly, even the background is pretty muted compared to the one on the left. We have different textures on the left. We have like little butterfly wings in the background on the one on the left and on the right, it's just a plain blue background with some purple in there. And once again, the only difference with the prompt was African-American compared to black. Here are some other figures. This is from Midjourney, which is another AI art generating platform. So when I think of a black vampire, I don't imagine the skin tone. I just personally don't. I want a skin tone that looks like mine. Sure, they're dead because they're vampires, but they don't have to be painted white. They can still have radiant skin. Um, so I prompted Midjourney to draw an Afrocentric vampire, black vampire, ultra realistic, and this is what it gave me. The hair is pretty cool. I like the hair. I do like the hair, but the skin tone was not what I wanted. Like I said earlier, I want radiant skin. Um, I do enjoy that they have white noses and full lips and symmetrical eyes and their faces aren't distorted. 
Um, Cause that can easily happen. So even though this is a failure, it's something. We're going somewhere with this. So I've had worse. <laughs> so here are some acrocentric features that look distorted when created. It's a hit or miss with all AI platforms. So on the right, we see African man. Um, I was going for a man taking a blood bath, but you can't say blood on mid journey because it, it bans you. <laughs> so I, I worked around it by saying red fluid. And they put him in a cup in one of those <laughs> images. Um, his facial features aren't clear at all in some of these images. The clearest one is the far right corner, um, but he's pacey as well. Uh, it looks like he just dipped himself in chalk, unfortunately, uh, compared to the image on the left in the same grid. He's more radiant, even though he is a vampire. Or even the upper right, he's more radiant, even though he is a vampire, compared to being so pale. Uh, his hair is Afrocentric, it's curly, it's kinky. On the left, um, it, it came close, but her facial features and features are still distorted. As you can see in the upper right, her neck is all twisted. And right next to that on the left, her lips are like puckered up in an attitudish way, and that was not what I prompted it. And down below, it just, it wasn't hitting the way it was supposed to. Eurocentric features are default. For every AI platform, I must deliberately include Afrocentric features to get an ideal response. For example, full lips, white nose, curly hair, radiant skin. Otherwise, the Eurocentric features will be default. And we saw that with the fairy. Even though I input it black, it wasn't enough. Almost, but not quite. <laughs> so this is also a bit journey. I prompted the prompt on the left. Brown skin, brown skin woman, with red curly hair, full lips, white nose. And it still gave me a more paler woman. Sure, she can be a black woman, but it wasn't the image that I was going for. I was going for the skin tone on the right. But as you can see on the right, I just made a variation of this and it gave me a woman that is completely distorted and borderline offensive. Um, her facial features look nothing like the ones on the, on the left. They barely look like facial features. It looks like an abstract painting of someone who looks like me. And I'm not a fan of that. I would want the same details on the left as I would want to see on the right. And it just didn't give me that. It defaulted to a paler woman compared to a darker, a darker, deeper skinned woman. And I mean, that's just not okay. The image itself is beautiful, yes, but it's not what I wanted. This is continued with Night Cafe. So faces here are realistic, as in the texture of the photograph, but their faces are completely distorted. This is offensive. I didn't upload the ones that are completely offensive, wholeheartedly offensive, um, outrageously offensive, but this is basically an entryway to it. I do enjoy the texture of the photo. They do look like realistic photos, realistic people, but their faces aren't what they need to be at all. And on the right, this is more of a, an abstract prompt. I prompted Night Cafe to draw an African-American man sitting on a crescent moon, galaxies behind him. Yes, it was a more futuristic prompt, but they still distorted his face completely. His hands mesh in with whatever facial features that it decided to go in there. And it is offensive. It's not what I wanted. I would have had preferred no face than that. So let's move on to my successes with AI art. A goddess in fact. So I re-envisioned the Black Fairy. So the creation here has a clear face with visible features. They're not all twisted up and distorted. It is a clear upgrade from the fairy earlier. And as you can see from the right, she actually has a face compared to the one on the right. So my prompt for Night Cafe was, draw an African fairy goddess with glass wings, beautiful pastel colors, rainbow. The main difference here 
was African fairy goddess. For some reason, that cafe resonates black people with gods and goddesses the best. I actually got a beautiful woman with a very detailed background. It put an effort. Here are some other creations I made with Mid Journey. Yeah, their faces aren't as clear as they could be, but the colors are pretty cool and the action is pretty cool. They gave me locks in the upper right and an afro on the right hand corner. Excuse me, they gave me locks on the upper left and an afro on the lower and upper right. I went with a galaxy theme here. Their faces aren't as clear, but it's still pretty cool. In here, we see much more detail with the dresses. And then the man on the right, the clouds and the color of his hair is pretty cool too. Um, they didn't give me distinct facial features, but they gave me a pretty cool image itself. And I can appreciate that for what it is. Here, they did a better job. Mid Journey did a much better job here. Yeah, some facial features are just wiped out with some abstractness, but nonetheless, it did do pretty well for some of the images. In the upper left, we see a man with some clear facial features. He's handsome. He has both his eyes, he has his nose, his mouth, and his hair is locked too, so they gave me an Afrocentric man rather than someone not. Yeah. On the right, we can see that her face is distorted a little bit, but it is abstract enough to get away with it. The same for the bottom left. Created with Night Cafe now. This was the most realistic African American woman I've gotten on Night Cafe. So I prompted it. Realistic African American woman with straight red hair, brown skin, full lips, white nose, a mischievous smile. And I was blown away because I have never had this before. Um, her skin texture looks real, her hair looks real, she has, a, she has her teeth, <laughs> her eyes are a little wonky, but once again, Night Cafe and other art platforms have a hard time creating eyes back then, and her nose is wide and she has a nose. I was very proud when I got this. I was completely blown away. Mixed mediums. So I prompted Night Cafe to describe a futuristic African American man who time travels. And it got the essence of that. His face is distorted, but I was really impressed with the mixed mediums. Like he's cartoonish with like a realistic background that reminded me of home. Um, I think they captured the essence of time travel. We see like an emblem in his hand. And that was pretty unique. Here we have two images. The one on the right, I prompted with Night Cafe. And on the left, I just touched up with another um, photo touch-up program. And it had a lot to work with to touch it up that way. So I'm very proud of that as well. She has braids and realistic features as well. This is my first realistic Afro man. I prompted Night Cafe to create an African man with full lips, full nose, radiant skin, time traveling. It didn't capture the essence of time traveling at all, but it gave me a beautiful man. Look at him, look at the texture of his skin. His, his skin looks so real, like he's a real person, like this was an actual photograph of someone, but it's not. It's an AI art generated drawing. So I was very impressed. Hair Chronicles. So I prompted Knife Cafe to give me a handsome African woman with radiant skin, locked hair, full lips, full nose. It didn't give me the locked hair, but it gave me a pretty badass afro. I, I mean, I take my wins when I can. Um, this is my first afro. Humanistic. So I prompted Night Cafe to, once again, give me a handsome African man 
with radiant skin, locked hair, full lips, full nose. And once again, it did not give me locked hair. It gave me a fade. But it's a pretty cool fade. Um, and he's a handsome man. Once again, he has full lips, a full nose. I see both of his eyes. He has the ear. His skin looks real. This was impressive nonetheless. A goddess. So I created the black goddess. So I promised in my cafe to create a black goddess, stunning, full lips, white nose, and curly hair. This was my best AI image of a black woman. I mean, just look at her. Yeah, her hands are distorted, but that once again, my cafe and other generated, art generating programs do that with eyes, limbs, and random extremities. But she is beautiful. She is beautiful. And I'm so proud of her. She has curly hair. She has all of her facial features. Her skin is smooth, is radiant. She's just vibrant. She is a goddess, in fact. Then the fun began. I crafted the black goddess. So I prompted Night Cafe to draw an African space babe, galaxies around her, stunning goddess synthwave, neon retro sinister by Greg, hyper detailed charcoal drawing, detailed matte painting, cyberpunk 2099, etc. And I got this prompt on accident. I accidentally chose like two different presets from Night Cafe's list and struck gold. This is from the same prompt as prior set. Just look at them. The woman on the right actually has cornrows. Can you believe it? And her skin is just so beautiful, which definitely shimmers. And the one on the right is beautiful. Excuse me, the one on the left is just beautiful, as well as the one on the right. Just look at her, she is a cyberpunk. Full lips, a full nose, just a goddess. Just beautiful. And yes, it did capture the booty. <laughs> I didn't prompt it to do this, which is problematic within itself, but we're not talking about that today. But they are beautiful nonetheless, very detailed. This is from the same prompt. Just look at the difference compared to the prior images. Just beautiful. So Mid Journey also came through. I also finally hacked the code with Mid Journey and created a realistic black woman. So my prompt was to create a beautiful African American female goddess, stunning goddess features, Humboldt County, California, perfect smooth professional photography, etc. And here she is. So the key words here were Humboldt County, professional photography, natural lighting, cinematic, Canon lens shot on a DSLR 64, extreme sharp focus. So the Humboldt County part comes from a little bit about me. I went to Humboldt State University, now known as Cal Poly Humboldt. It is six hours from the San Francisco Bay Area and three hours from the Oregon border. So we are known for our coastal redwoods. So she is set in the forest. You can see a tree, a conifer back there, and some ferns and other greenage. Um, and that's where the background comes from. But she is the most realistic woman I've made on Mid Journey. And she's beautiful. She actually has a face, a brown face, a face that I can see myself in. I'm very proud. And then I made a vampirist. So I used a similar prompt as before, but I plugged in vampire modifiers. The vampirist continued.
the black vampire. So once again, I use a similar prompt that's plugged in more male modifiers. The future is here. We went from this to this. And as you can see, his skin is so radiant. It's chocolate. It has life to it. Um, he has Afrocentric features that are clear and not distorted. The image on the left is not terrible. I won't say that it is terrible, but it's nothing compared to the one on the right. It has come a long way within a few months, just a few months of crafting and recrafting and from the AI learning. So why does it matter? AI can be programmed to generate ideas in a variety of ways. So they can mimic human creativity or use other more algorithms to create their art. The systems used for Night Cafe and Mid Journey are unknown because the companies have not released this information to us. However, it is likely that the systems use a combination of things like sensors, cameras, and input from humans like you and me to generate its art. So I want to present black culture accurately and to do it with care. Representation matters to me as a consumer, and as an artist, and I honestly will continue to create and recreate until I'm left with gold, until I left, I'm left with something that looks like me or someone who looks like me or something that feels right. So it's important for there to be representation in AI art because the AI is pulling data from the world around us. And these ideas are often <laughs> rooted in European ideas of beauty. That is the standard. We know this, we've seen this, it's the proofs in the art itself. So if there's not proper representation, then the AI will continue to pull data from these old, outdated ideas and will continue to perpetrate them. The way that black people are represented in various types of media have di a direct impact on how they are seen and how others will interact with them. Someone like me. Um, this is powerful because of why it's so important to have representation in AI art. AI art is another form of media. By having accurate and positive representation, it can help change the way that black people are seen by the world. I want to be seen as someone who is beautiful too. I don't want to be seen as someone with distorted features or someone less than. I also want to be the standard of my beauty for myself. That's it, that's all. So without further ado, I want you all to meet the black goddess. She walks in power, the ground quakes under her bare feet, owning her blackness, unapologetic in her melanin. A goddess in every sense. Her skin is like chocolate, smooth and delicious, a canvas for art. Her eyes are like coffee dark and rich, that can see into the depths of any soul. Her hair is like a crown, kinky and curly, a wild mane of perfection and protection. She is the epitome of beauty, full lips and a wide nose. A black goddess. She walks with her head held high. No weapons formed against her can harm her. She is a queen in her own right. She is the beauty of blackness. She is the black goddess. The embodiment of magic. She is the power that we wield when we are seeking to right the wrongs of this venomous world. She is the one who comes to us in our darkest hour. 
when we need her the most. She is the light that guides us to the path of justice. She is black lightning. She is the strength that we draw on when we are fighting for what is right. She is the love that fills our hearts when we are at our weakest. She is the hope that we cling to when all else seems lost. She is the black goddess and she will always be the protector of our people, the bringer of hope, the keeper of our magic. Okay, so that was made using all AI art generated images. And that was an AI actually reading the poem that was created by another AI who wrote the poem. So thank you. It's been great talking to you all. Follow Black Goddess AI Art on Instagram if you want to follow the vibes and stay up to date with my creations. Once again, my name is Dejane Robinson. I go to SIEC. I'm a second year fiction student and I'm doing what I love to do. I hope you are too. All right. Talk to you all later.